Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, little boys and girls, the monkey boy and the monkey girl. If you watch this, uh, we're going to carry on with our study. I think it's five now. Um, we, uh, yeah, I think it's number five study. So it's still this book. And I've gone through chapter four. However, I have to be honest, I mean, okay. Chapter four and five, I've read those two. Chapter four is variable. There's a very interesting story that about um, the, the man, the, the man was created by the, the Lord God. Him, well, it's an incredible story. But what happened was they, they had two babies and then these babies grew up to be men. So I expect that to be somewhere, I don't know, Anyway, we, we could say at least safely, 18 years after that. So these two men chose different professions, different occupations, and one of them became, I believe, a, a farmer, and the other one became a herdsman. And then, so one is Cain and Abel, Mm, Cain and Abel, Cain, two, mm, Tubal Cain, Cain and Abel, Tubal Cain and Abel, so Cain killed Abel because he was unha unhappy with the result of a sacrifice that was made, for whatever reason, uh, this is a sacrifice, yes, so this is the Promifid feed, Genifis Abel Murthard. So I'll show you what, what I'm talking about here. Now, if you can pronounce this thing, then uh, good for you, because I'm finding extreme difficulty. But like I said before, the, the man on the street, he, he, he never pronounced it like this. He pronounced it uh, as we speak usually. So he must have a different version of this book, or translated one. So, chapter 4 and 5. Um, chapter 4 is a bit hazy for me, so we won't go into that too much. I'll let you read that on your own time. Chapter 5 is extremely tedious, in my opinion, laborious to read. Well, simply just um, um, uh, it's a genealogy. So if you're interested and if you want to memorize, there's a whole bunch of people with some very difficult names to pronounce. And if you're going to... Hmm... Okay, I'll give you some examples. Seth is okay, we can pronounce that. So from Seth, Adam, and then somebody called Seth came over, and then from Seth, there was somebody, Enos, Cayman, Mahalalal, Mahalalil, Mahalalil, he produced J Jared, and then he produced Enoch. Now Enoch, is more, uh, I'd say, I've heard of Enoch, and what 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 he's done. Uh, then Jared, and then Enoch, and then from Enoch, Methuselah, Methusaliah. All right. So Methusaliah is the guy who's lived forever, almost. I believe he's the longest living. 
man ever for 900 years or something, I'm not sure. So, uh, Mepuza, yeah, it says 900, 60, and 9 years, and then he died. That's a long time. 900 years. He, he lived almost a thousand years. It's a millennium, this male. Mel, you heard before. Uh, if you if you didn't hear it, uh, perhaps you can rewind, and then you can you can hear it. If not, you can pause and see how it's written, and maybe you know how to say it. So, chapter four, chapter five. Interesting, interesting. But we're still gonna get to to the uh, to the ship. So this is where the the character comes in, the one the owner of the ship now. Now, from the, the other character, whose name is pretty difficult to pronounce, he begot somebody called Methuselah, Methuselah to Lamech. Lamech tossed it over to Noah, and then he becomes the, the subject of the story here on. Right, so at this point, so I presume if Methuselah lived 900 years, this is one character, so I'm um, um, presuming or assuming that the world has gone on for, for a long time, for at least four, five, maybe six millennia, I don't know, um, so, so we have some, so this, uh, this new character is introduced, and he comes in, and he, his name is Noah, and then, then he becomes a central character f from this point. Whereabout everyone else is corrupt around him, and the wickedness of the world, which provoked God's wrath and caused the flood. So this is the flood that I was looking for. Yes, I think we're getting closer. So we're going to identify the particular individual who is a relative of the, um, I wish I had knew his name so I could refer to him by his n proper name instead of calling him the Israeli Jewish um, Hebrew man on the street wearing a Superman costume and shouting at people uh, with, with a bunch of his colleagues. Mm. Yes, so we're going to get to his relatives and then we'll, we'll know what happened. So in any case, the, the uh, world at this point is an extremely wicked place. The, char the characters of, of this world are getting themselves into all kinds of mischief. Yeah, so, so the, god, the, the god was pretty upset about this things that's going on, and um, it also says that there were giants in those days, and sons of God. So the sons of God saw the women who were the women of the man, I presume, and they came down, and uh, what's the wording? We need to use the right wording. Okay, so, and... And it came to pass, when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God showed that the daughters of man, that they were fair, and they took them as wives, the principle says wives, of all they chose. Right? So the sons of God are picking up women that they choose. Hmm. Right? And the Lord said, My spirits shall not always strive, strive, strive we with man, or strive, strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Okay, so the days of man are 120 years. So, so why is everybody popping off at 65 or 70? I don't know, maybe something happened in the flood. And it changed the dynamics, perhaps, of the environment. Um, okay. So in any case, we, ca we carry on. 
there were giants in the earth in those days? Oh, come on. And, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of man, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men. Wow. Which were of old men of renown. Renaumi. Renaum. Renau. Re now me. That's what he says. Renaum. And then God saw the wickedness. Wow. Well, and then decided, okay, he's had enough of this mother, uh, these people. So he said, right, what he was intending to do was, he was going to destroy all of them, teach them a good lesson. Well, that's, that's what he's going to do. He's going to destroy all of them. But then he thought there was one guy in this uh, earth, I presume, so that's every, everybody, because he's, he's going to destroy everything now, and he's not messing around. Um, he's not even playing about it. But now Noah found grace in the eyes of God. No, 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 not of God, of the Lord. Yeah. He found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And then the generations of him come in, you see. So I'm thinking, um, so, hmm. so I suppose Chapter 7 and 8 is where we're going to go into the story about this uh, character now, the Noah character, and to see how it all, it all come to be. But I have to read it prehand because I can't just read it off, off right now. It's going to take forever. So I'm going to read it before and explain to you what's going on. Um, in the meantime... Noah, in the meantime, God's come down to Noah and explained to him that he needs to build a ship. It has to be set in dimensions. He's given him the, the uh, fashion, so to speak, which thou shalt make it of. The length of the, he called it our key, shall be 300 cubits. The breadth is 50 cubits and the height of it 30 cubits. Right, so that's that's what, how, how the dimension of the ship, uh, the Archie, and um, so now it's on, I think. Hmm? So now everybody's going to get theirs, and Noah and his buddies, I presume, or his family, and a whole bunch of animals are going to fit into this uh, 30 by, by uh, 300 by 50 cubit Archie. And hopefully, in the next chapter, or the one after that, we, we're going to go for a ride. Okay? So I hope that's clear, little boys and little girls. So that's going to be your Bible story for this evening. So that's the, the, the from, from the book called... Um, The 1611 edition of the King Aimee's uh, book, or tr uh, version of these occurrences. Okay, so so um, I think that's cl clear. I don't think there's anything else. We'll, we'll carry on to blacken it. And you know how it is. If you don't like it, you know what to do.